In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining us for Mass today. Nice day, sunny day here. Hope it is with you. Celebrating this Mass for Michael Dunn. We continue to keep Siobhan Carroll in our prayers and also pray for the repose of Carlo Signorio. Today we keep the feast of St Therese of the Child Jesus, who's often known as the Little Flower because her father gave her a little flower when she told him she wanted to enter a Carmelite convent. Therese was born at Alençon in France in 1873 and had a difficult childhood, her mother dying when she was only four and also being bullied at school. Aged only 15 and despite some opposition, she entered the Carmelite monastery in Lisieux in Normandy, joining two of her older sisters. Her parents are the only married couple so far to have been canonised together by Pope Francis in 2015. Eventually, all five of their female children entered Carmel. Therese excelled in practising the virtues of humility, simplicity and a firm trust in God. By her words and example, she taught the novices in the monastery and offered her life for the salvation of souls and for the spreading of the faith in the missions. For this reason, she is the patron saint of foreign missions. She died on the 30th of September, 1897, aged only 24. St Therese is very popular because of her simple and practical approach to the spiritual life. A simple internet search about her reveals her struggles and trials, but also her humanity, which makes her very relevant to us today. The basilica dedicated to her in Lisieux is the second most popular pilgrimage site in France after Lourdes. So as we begin our celebration in honour of St Therese, we pause to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job broke the silence and cursed the day of his birth. This is what he said. May the day perish when I was born and the night that told of a boy conceived. Why did I not die newborn, not perish as I left the womb? Why were there two knees to receive me, two breasts for me to suck? Had there not been... I should now be lying in peace, wrapped in a restful slumber, with the kings and high viziers of earth, who built themselves vast vaults, or with princes who have gold to spare, and houses crammed with silver, or put away like a stillborn child that never came to be, like unborn babes that never see the light. Down there, bad men bustle no more. There the weary rest. Why give light to a man of grief? Why give life to those bitter of heart who long for a death that never comes and hunt for it more than for a buried treasure? They would be glad to see the grave mound and shout with joy if they reach the tomb. Why make this gift of light to a man who does not see his way? whom God balks on every side. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer come, come into, into your presence, presence O Lord. Lord. Lord my God, I call for help by day. I cry at night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence. O turn your ear to my cry. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. For my soul is filled with evils. My life is on the brink of the grave. I am reckoned as one in the tomb. I have reached the end of my strength. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Like one alone among the dead, like the slain lying in their graves, like those you remember no more, cut off as they are from your hand. Let, Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. You have laid me in the depths of the tomb, in places that are dark in the depths. Your anger weighs down upon me. I am drowned beneath your waves. Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer come into your, your presence, O Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Alleluia, alleluia. Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according <coughs> to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messengers ahead of him. These set out and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him. But the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them and they went off to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With great joy, let us praise Christ, the Bridegroom of all virgins. Lord Jesus, the holy virgins loved you as their only spouse. May we never be separated from you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You crowned your mother Mary as Queen of all virgins. By her prayers, grant that we may serve you in purity of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The Holy Virgins followed you with undivided hearts. Do not allow us to be fascinated by this passing world and drawn away from you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, you are the bridegroom that the wise virgins were ready to meet. Let us watch for your coming with longing and hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May St. Therese, who reigns in your kingdom, intercede for us. Through her prayers, grant us wisdom and innocence of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In this moment of silence, we remember those needs kept in the quiet of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and grant these our prayers as we celebrate the memoria of St. Therese, that one day we may join you in your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the fine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Praise 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favour in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, Saviour of the world, for by, by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Therese and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be with you. With you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass. Take care. Bye. God bless and see you soon.